You know, I just decided something. I just decided that there's no bigger waste of man hours than chasing down a spooked herd. You know what I think? I'll tell you what I think. I think them stinking Murphy boys are the one that scattered them. You don't want to know why? I'll tell you why. Because they happen to know we're in the middle of a roundup, and they're just mean enough to spook them out on us. That's what you think, huh? That is what I think. I also think I ought to go over there and bash a couple of Murphy heads together. Well, you're getting so heated up, I think you ought to do that. I just might do that. You want to come along? No, thanks. Well, I'll go alone, then. You know, Nick, sometimes you get so brave, you scare me. Yeah, well... Well, now, what are you staring at? I wonder what those buzzards are staring at. One way to find out, isn't it? I know. Let's go look. All right. Come on. Get. Sorry, Nick. I know that's painful. Here now. Drink this. <coughs> now, lie back. Okay. Don't twist around. Best to leave those scratches uncovered. Good night, Nick. 
Well, you've been talking about having a vacation. Here you are. You can sleep all day and... and have your meal served to you in bed. I'll... I'll get you a bell and you can ring it when you're hungry. Trying to tell you how lucky you are. Nick? Are you all right? Well, he's got three broken ribs and some nasty lacerations on his legs and chest. That cat did quite a job on him. Quite a job. Knowing Nick, however, he'll probably decide the whole thing was nothing at all and be trying to kick up his heels in a day or two. But don't let him. Keep him in bed for three days at least. Then slowly let him get up and move around. He'll be all right if you don't let him push it. Doctor, he seems so strange. Yes, what is it? He... He looks at you, but it's as if he isn't seeing you. Well, that's only natural. He's still in a state of shock. He'll pull out of it, all right. I'll uh, look in on him tomorrow. Maybe uh, around lunchtime, if you still have some of that pickled goose at the cooler. You've just gotten yourself an invitation. Good. In the meantime, Victoria, get yourself some sleep. Good night. Thank you. Ah, don't you worry. Doc's right. If I know Nick, he'll be up and around in no time. Well, I'll never complain about his hollering around the house again. Now, be careful. In a day or two, you might have to eat those words. <laughs> Come on, let's get some sleep. been dreaming. Well, you raised me about a foot off the floor. Sorry. I... Sorry. Can I get you anything? No, no, no. You, you go back to bed. I'll be, I'll be fine. So... Go on back to bed. It's okay. You rest easy. Yeah. He's practically ready for a foot race. A short walk to the breakfast table will do for today. <laughs> he might be a little stiff on the uh, outside, but his belly must be working all right. Empty sack won't stand up, you know. Spoken like a true Barkley. Take more than a little old pussycat to keep Nick down, huh? Personally, I think he's too tough and stringy. Cat's probably got indigestion. Well, if that cat does have indigestion, I think the best thing we can do is put him out of his misery. Tanner should be here today. Who's Tanner? Professional hunter. I wired him yesterday. Why? I can't hit another steer yesterday, Nick. Well, that's no reason to call in a professional hunter. Well, we're 
We're shorthanded on the roundup now. We can't spare anyone. Why am I getting that cat myself? Oh, Nick, you can't be serious. Nick, you get up on a horse and you'll shove those busted ribs right through your lungs. It's not likely. Besides, I'm only bossing that roundup so as you can rest. That's fine. You can boss the roundup. I'm going to get that cat. Sorry, Nick. You can't have him. Jared Barkley. They told me at your hotel I'd find you here. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a little talk. Shh. Mr. Barkley, I paid very good money for this private performance. So why don't you uh, drink your wine and enjoy it, hmm? Thank you very much. But if you don't mind, I would like to get right down to business. I never mix business with pleasure, Mr. Barclay. And this is my pleasure. Um, tell me, Mr. Tanner, how much longer does this performance last? Another two hours. If you don't mind, I have some other things I'd like to take care of, so maybe you could meet me in my office after this is over with. Uh, relax, Mr. Barkley. Culture is good for the soul. You'll just try a little of this rice wine. I'll explain to you what's going on. That girl has just found a beautiful jade bracelet and is caught in the dilemma of whether to find the owner or keep it. What she does not know is, a bracelet was left outside her door by a handsome young suitor. She couldn't accept an outright gift from him, so he has chosen this uh, subterfuge to get it into her hands. She cannot resist it. And the young man, of course, can now announce that uh, it is his gift. You see the subtlety of the Oriental mind, Mr. Barclay. Oh, yes, perfectly. Good. Jared tells me you're quite a fan of the Chinese theater. Well, I enjoy in life what I can afford. Good wine, good art. Good people. You hardly seem like a professional hunter. Well, hunting is my business. Living is my pleasure. Well, you come highly recommended. And you are even more gracious and lovely than I've been told. Oh, Mr. Dana, you are a charming liar. <laughs> I would be if I had to, Mrs. Barkley. But in this case, lying is totally unnecessary. Now, Mr. Tanner, just when is it you plan to get started? Uh, before dawn. Good. If you'll excuse me, I'm off to Sacramento in the morning, so I have to turn in early. Good night, Mother. See you at breakfast, Nick. And I think it's about time for you to turn in, Nick. I want to say something first. Oh? I'm going with Tanner tomorrow morning. Nick! Mr. Barkley, I think you'd better understand something. You can't come with me. I work alone. 
I think you'd better understand something, Tanner. I was against hiring you in the first place. Now, there's nothing personal in that. Uh, even if I allowed you to come along, Mr. Barclay, you're in no shape for it. I'm the best judge of that, don't you think? Well, there's no point in pursuing this any farther. You hired me to hunt down the cat. That's what I'm going to do. Alone. Good night. Nick, I thought we settled all this at breakfast. You were going to stay here and rest. Mother, now, Mother, Mother I'm a fast it. mender. Probably a medical marvel. <laughs> Nick, Now, what do I... I have to do to convince you? Would you like me to run around a house a couple of times holding my breath? Or maybe you'd like to see me jump the corral fence? Oh, come on, Mother, stop frowning. Look at this smiling face. I'm a picture of hell. Nick, I won't buy it, Nick. Mother, that cat hit at me and I'm going to hit back. Revenge. Oh, for heaven's sake, Nick, that cat is a dumb animal. You're a man with intelligence and reason. You don't need revenge. It's getting late, and I gotta get up pretty early in the morning. I best get some sleep. Good night. Nick. There's more to it, isn't there? It's just something I have to do. So. What do you think you're doing? I told you last night I'm going with you. I said you weren't. Well, here I am, right beside you. Barkley, that is not an ordinary cat. A man wounded him once or he wouldn't have attacked. And he'll attack again at the first smell of you. Take my chance. Oh, 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 well and good. But there's the matter of me also. I've done this all my life. I know more than most, and that edge keeps me alive. Well, I'm not about to take away that edge, Tanner. But trying or not, you will. You're a cripple and an amateur. I won't risk taking you along. Well, then you best go back to the ranch and pick up your fee, because I'll go it alone anyway. All right, Barkley. You want to track Cat? Come on. Too tired to realize you've been traveling in circles for the past hour. Well, it's only a little over three miles back to the ranch. You could make it before noon. If I was to turn back, but I'm not about to. Why? You quit stalling, Tanner. Let's get on with this. <laughs> Coming along with me, it doesn't mean I have to explain my moves to you. Uh huh. Well, the way I got it figured is since that cat's been fired at the last three times he's been near the herd, he's probably going up high to let things cool off a bit. Well, that's pretty fair figure, Mr. Barkley. Glad to see you're aware of what's happening. Well, I was just checking to see that your thinking was correct, Mr. Tanner. Well, since you're so knowledgeable on the subject, maybe you could tell me what my next move should be. Well, I'd say since we think that the uh, cat is in this area, it might be wise to stake out some fresh meat. Not bad. As soon as I decide the right place to do that, I'll just give it a try.
Fresh meat out for that cat two days ago, and he ain't showed up. I don't think he's anywhere in this area. Well, I hope that cat isn't as impatient to get to you, Mr. Barkley, as you are to get to him. What do you think you're doing? The cat. Right over the rocks. The cat. That cat won't come near this fire, and you know it. But I tell you, I saw him. Barkley, the only cat around here is the one in your head. Still say I didn't see that cat in the camp last night? Well, since he supposedly was standing on the rocks where he couldn't leave tracks, you'll never know, will you? You mean you'll never know? He came down to feed from up there. Caving in. Now, why don't you sit down before you fall down? His legs hurt. How bad? Well, he won't be carrying you for a while. That meadow we came through a ways back, uh, I saw a cabin. I'll take you there.
Happened to him? Well, fate uh, played a cruel trick on my brave young friend here. His uh, horse took a fall and went lame. He's got a couple of busted ribs. That's so. Yeah, a roof and bed would... Uh, would be most appreciated. He does look in a bad way. I only need a couple hours of rest, ma'am. This is my wife, Beth. Howdy. A tenor is my name. This is Nick Barkley. Maybe we should ask him in, Tom. See what you can do for him. Uh, well, uh, once in a while. Low stakes, of course. Yeah. Well, now, I, uh, I, I think I'll call. Straight. Yes, let's see. Now, you have a, you have a straight, and I have all hearts. Now, let me think. Um, that's right. Um, a flush beats a straight, doesn't it? I gotta get some money out back. Here. Ah. Try a little of this, Mr. Barclay. What, 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 what is it? It's a special broth I fixed for oh. you. No, it's very good, thank you. Why, well, you're a generous and sweet angel of mercy, Mrs. Giles. Really, Mrs. Giles. You're not? No. Mr. Giles won me from a saloon keeper in, in a poker game. I just thought you might be interested in knowing that. Now, drink your soup. Ready? Let's say we uh, raise the ante, Mr. Tennant. You mean uh, play for more money? It's a general idea. Well, if you really want to, Mr. Giles. go in Sacramento. Once again, I must modestly admit that my brilliance as a barrister saved the Barclay family from total destruction. Total destruction? Well, maybe just a minor annoyance. Beef still on Roundup? Mm-hmm. How's Nick? He's gone. What do you mean, gone? Gone where? After the cat. 
He went after that cat? Mm -hmm. When? Shortly after you left with Sacramento. Well, why didn't you try and stop him? I didn't see him go. Well, then how do you know he went after the cat? Because I know. Well, at least you could have done it, sent somebody after him. It wouldn't have done any good, I'm sure. He's with Tanner. The devil has gotten into him anyway. What suddenly is so almighty important about hunting down a cat? What was so important when you went out to ride lightning during the middle of winter last year? Well, what's that got to do with this? He doesn't see the comparison. Well, that's odd. I see it very clearly. You wanted to break the horse. Instead, the horse broke your leg. Well, then. So at midnight, with your leg in splints, you sneak out of the house and climb on the poor animal's back. Maybe I was just trying to prove that I... And maybe I see the comparison after all. We'll just have to wait until he gets back. We'll just have to wait. Keep staring at me. Sorry. I keep getting the feeling that maybe we've met before. We haven't. I don't usually forget a face. You never forgot mine. Because you never saw it before. This is my hand, Tanner. This time, I got you beat. Well, now, Mr. Giles, I've got your money. Your horse, your saddle, your cabin. I'll bet you 200. But you haven't got 200. I'm good for it. Sorry, Mr. Giles, I never play on credit. However, it wouldn't seem fair not to give you a chance to recoup. So I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll call your 200 against your wife. The lady is agreeable. Well, if you're sure you've got him beat. I have three queens and two nines. Oh, you, you stink. You cheated me. Mr. Giles, what makes you say that? You made me think you didn't know much about poker. No, Mr. Giles, I never said I didn't know poker. I just didn't say how much.
Mr. Giles. Now, even though you are a very poor loser, I'm going to be very kind to you. I'm going to let you go over there and get that horse. Just the horse. Because I'm going to keep the saddle. And I'm going to let you ride out of here, all right? All right. All right. What's happening? Well, there he is. Oh, bright-eyed like a hungry fox. Did you sleep well, Mr. Barkley? What's going on? What was all that fighting about? The evils of gambling. He was a very poor loser. Oh, well, we'd best get moving. Right you are. But you have got to do one thing first. What's that? You have got to put your boots on. Oh, uh, well... You kind of like him, don't you? Yes. Good. Then uh, keep him here. You're leaving him with me? Mm hmm. If he keeps chasing that cat in his condition, he'll kill himself. Aren't you going to say goodbye to him? No, it's best I don't. He can be a little stubborn sometimes. I'll uh, stop on my way back down the hill. You hear three shots, put the skillet on, because I'm going to be hungry. Oh, uh. Have fun. I got a bear pie now, Alvin. Where's he going? After the cat. What are you doing? I saw a couple of wild horses in the meadow. I'm going to get me one. But you're not, you're not well. And Mr. Tanner said for me to take care of you. You tell Mr. Tanner that you tried. When I catch up with him. Nick. No. Just what do you plan to do with that? Mr. Tanner said for me to keep you here. Berry pie wouldn't work, so you figure the gun will, huh? It's for your own good. And you're the judge of what's best for me, huh? What? But you're not thinking clear, huh? On account of your sick. Beth, if you're going to use that gun, you best go ahead and do it. Because I'm walking out of here. I guess my pa was right. What about? He always said that I was uglier than a mud fence. Well, I'd say your father was either half blind or, or crazy. I don't hardly remember. Ran off when I was 11. And I, I seen a lot of ugly things since. Beth, I don't know what you've seen, but you've gotten a lot prettier than the mud fence. Then why you want to leave? Well, I just have to finish what I started. on your way back?
Giles, where did you find that rifle? They're more than one cabin in these hills. They should know the territory. I suppose you want your money back. Mostly. I want your hide. You, you know that feeling I had about knowing you before? Now I know where I saw your face. They say a man's memory improves sometimes. Just before he dies. Stanton. Ted Stanton. And your face was on a wanted poster in Stockton. You'll recall. I used this on more than one man. You know, the law has thought you dead for a long time. I was living a quiet life. You took my comforts. Shamed me in front of my woman. I hope you're ready for your comforts. Put that rifle down. Put down that rifle. standing there. Long enough for him to put a slug in you. Well, why did you stop him? That's a very interesting question. It'll take a few seconds to think of a very interesting answer. Asking for trouble, you know that, don't you? You don't hunt a cat with a spooky horse. Nothing wrong with this horse. Oh, sure. Saddle on its back for a couple of weeks, it'll be fine, but right now you two are strangers. We'll get acquainted. There's no time. That cat's pretty close. Now, if you can't control that animal, we could get in trouble. That's my worry. Let's move out. You know, Barkley, you're not a coward. <laughs> close. I guess you're right about this horse. I'll uh, tie him off down below.
now that you've satisfied your soul, you up to filling your belly? I promised that angel of mercy I'd fire three shots so she could put the skillet on for us. Jam. It's jam. How long has it been jammed? I guess we'll never know. <laughs> uh, I suppose it was meant to be, Nick. What's that? It was your cat. Yeah. It was my cat. 